In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a template so you can customize the output of your Word documents from our Markdown. So, first step that you need is to have a our Markdown document which has the elements that you um, have in your output. You need your elements because you're going to have to uh, format those to create the template. It really doesn't matter what the text and everything is. That's completely irrelevant. Just you need things like, you know, you know, here I've got my level one, I've got my level two heading, got some text, I got some figures with a figure caption, and uh, I've got some tables. All right, so let's go ahead and make a template for this. So first thing, um, got my output going to Word, so I'm just going to click knit. I could do knit, but I'm going to do knit to Word just um, in case you don't have that output line there. It's going to add that. Okay, so here's my, my output. It's just uh, the default. And so it says read only. I'm going to hit duplicate and save this. Uh, I always call my templates uh, template so I remember what they are. And then go down here to uh, a word template and hit save. Okay. All right, so now I've got this template here. It's open. Now I can add some formatting to it. So first thing that I could do, uh, I could go to the design tab and just click that, save that. So that that's a really quick way if you, you know, don't mind these designs, or if one of them is what you want. Change the whole look. All right. So then I want to go down to my figures. I always like my figures to be centered. So I'm going to click on the figure. And then in the Home tab over here, got Styles Paint. If you're using an older version of Word, it, it may look a little different. But basically, you, you whatever version of Word you're on, you want to find that Styles Paint. Okay, so look here, and you can see it has the current style. It's important, don't change the current style. That's not how you do it, because uh, when the R Markdown output it uh, outputs, it's going to call all your figures with that style, captioned figure. So what you need to do is you need to modify that style. So I'm going to go over here, say modify, and now I can modify that style. I'm going to go here, I'm going to center it, and it's really critical that I add it to the template. If I just save it, it's not actually in the template, and that's not going to do any good. I've got to add it to the template. So I centered that, so I said OK. Now I click down here on the figure legend. Okay, you can see now it has image, image caption. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to modify that. So let's say I wanted to center it. Let's say I'd actually like it to be black, not red. And again, add to the template. OK. So let's take a look at this um, table here. So uh, I can do kind of the same thing, where now I've got table caption. Great. I'm going to modify that, center it, make it black add to the template. Okay. Now what about this table? So I could, I can modify that, uh, and I will, but just look here that the current style is normal. And unfortunately that's a really broad category and it, uh, it may end up affecting uh, elements of my Word document that I don't want um, centered. So I'm going to do this. I, I am going to do it to the template. Say OK. So now that centers the table. Um, so like I said, you know, oftentimes there are elements of your document that are already in the normal style. So this you can see is first paragraph and this one is body text, but if I were to add something here and give it the style normal, which might be a common thing for you to do, it's going to have this um, centered 
style to it. So unfortunately, there's not like a table style that our markdown uses that you could modify. So I'm going to save that. So next thing I need to do is need to modify my YAML up here so that it uses the template. I always forget exactly what the code is. So what I do is I go to another R Markdown where I've used it, copy that, go back, paste it in. Okay, and now I'm going to change this, this part here to template. Dot dot x. There we go. Save that. Knit. And now you can see my Word document has the layout that I just did. I've got my figure centered. I've got that centered. I've got this centered. And this didn't come off centered. So I've found that problem often that no matter what I do, I can't get my tables to center. Even though I modified normal, it didn't sort of quote unquote take. And that's why in the lecture I showed using flex table. Flex table has really nice uh, table output for Word and definitely recommend that. You won't have trouble getting your tables to center with flex table. So this was with the default uh, not default, the really common uh, cable function that makes tables in our markdown.